Hi everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today on Let's Discuss, because we're just chatting about everything and anything that is interesting me in the mummy vlogger family circle. I don't know what that is, you know, it's like a slight discoloration and I'm not really quite sure where it came from. It's not even sore, I don't really understand. And I only ever see it when I'm filming. Maybe it's just a light. I don't know, I don't know. My skin does really weird things in the heat. Anyway, I feel like all of my videos start off with me basically warbling. Hectic, stressful day today. I'm not gonna um, bore you guys down with the details, but it is for anyone who's asking. It's my granddad's funeral this weekend and we've had a few, what's the word, like roadblocks. Um, and it's it's a bit stressful. I'm having to like organize things last minute and I'm just a little bit like overwhelmed and stressed, but I wanted to try and get a video out for you because I know that I'm not gonna be uploading until probably Tuesday, somewhere around there. So anyway, I just thought I'd get that out of the way. In life, sometimes one thing just happens after the other and you're like, oh, that was really, really crap. Okay, let's get up, let's move forward. And then something else happened. You just feel completely deflated and that's kind of how I feel. So sorry if you were tuning in wanting to me to be all jolly, but I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try and like muster up some jolliness, even though this topic is a little bit, mm, anyway. Anyway, so if you're still with me, <laughs> So today I'm going to be talking about the McLeod fam. Good morning and welcome to the McLeod fam vlog. And they are quite a big family over on TikTok. Oh so they are an absolutely massive channel of 2.7 million followers over on TikTok. And they also have like quite a sizable channel over here on YouTube. It's just not as much. Um, I'm not quite sure where they started off from, whether it like who came first, the chicken or the egg. I wasn't quite sure if it was TikTok or YouTube because I'd only, I'd heard about them before, but they're relatively quite new, I think. I went all the way back onto their, like, um, their, their like oldest videos. And it says like a year ago, a year or two ago was when they first did their first upload on YouTube. So I'm going to assume that they were originally on TikTok first. Basically, there's the mum called Ika, this is what I know, the mum called Ika, and she has taken in three different kids, I think more like an adoption process. Um, they all have additional needs. Um, one of them, I do believe, um, can't walk, so is um, need, needs a lot of help. You know, I'm not gonna get into exactly what kid has, because to be honest, that is exactly the kind of stuff that I not preach, but I get annoyed at, the parents doing about their kids so I don't really want to sit here and be like this child has this and that's what that because that is completely hypocritical because I don't like it when the parents do that what I'm going to say is they have additional needs and things um and basically the the video that I wanted how I want to come at this is that there's been a lot of controversy anyway with this family with just Ika the mum in general and I'm not really quite sure what to believe really. So I don't really wanna sit here and start going like, this is true, this is bad, blah, 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 blah. But I wanted to bring it back to the point of, you know, the Sikoni Jolies, we talk about them a lot. Okay, we talk about how they are exploiting Edie. Well, Ika has a, um, formerly a little boy called Evan. And Evan was wanted to be known as a girl boy. And that's not me using incorrect terminology. That is genuinely what, and, what Evan wanted to be known as. And now Evan wants to be known as a girl. So because of that, I'm gonna say she, but I just thought I would bring it back. She hasn't changed her name. So her name is still Evan. And the reason why I bring this up is because for some reason, for some bizarre reason, if you go onto their TikTok or Instagram or YouTube, for some reason, under every, you know, exploitative post about Evan and da 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 da, she makes, the mum makes extremely personal, uh, mostly in like TikTok form, you know, the drill, the kind of stuff that Jonathan Jolie makes, but for some reason it is accepted. But when the Sikoni Jolies do it, it's outrage. It's like, get your kids off the internet, stop exploiting them. But for some reason, Ika gets away with it. So we've been getting this question a lot, a lot, a lot, and I'm gonna address it. So straight out the gate, no, Evan has not asked to change her name or anything like that. And she has posted, you know, she she has done the whole, you know, asking her daughter questions, probing them when they're not entirely sure what's going on. I do believe the one thing I will say is that I do believe that the little girl has um, 
has a form of autism. That is the only thing I'm going to say about this. And the only reason why I say that is because kids and adults and, you know, such with autism may not necessarily be able to vocalise things as well. It plays heavily into the fact that she may not necessarily, I'm not quite sure to the degree of autism she has, but um, she may not be able to vocalise and to even though, yes, she can vocalise, she may not be able to cognitively know and vocalise exactly, you know, either what's going on or the things that, she, the questions that are being asked and all this kind of stuff. Not, I'm not saying that everyone's the same, but what I'm saying is that I do have an understanding of, you know, sometimes it can be a little bit challenging with people that do have higher forms of autism to actually, you know, to understand certain things. And, you know, that's like perfectly okay. I'm not saying it's not, but I'm just saying, that it makes it a little bit more tricky when you're then deciding to put your five-year-old daughter um, in the limelight for basically the trans movement. Once again, this is exactly what Zaccone Jaylees do. They're wanting, you know, Ika's wanting to basically use her child as a prop in this whole, you know, LGBTQ plus um, the community. I do want to say as well, is that Ika is actually like a part of the community herself which I think definitely helps her support and like spread the message. And I think maybe in a way that then makes it like to some people that makes it more acceptable for her to then push her children into being a part, not, not being a part, but for like, I think it's easier then for people to go like, oh, then she, she then gets the pass because she's, she herself is within the community. Um, and yeah, it's just, it's just really, really interesting to see how people deem some some content creators who do that as like punishable and then other people it's like perfectly okay which i'm all for i support it wholeheartedly but when you have a child that young who is also you know coupled with the fact that they may not be able to understand as much as you assume or think or whatever as i say i don't know the child i'm not sure but that does definitely play a role in me just being it, it sort of it makes the situation just a little bit more exploitative if you if you see what I mean and I hope that I've like covered that properly because not only am I trying to cover something as touchy as you know the transgender community but I'm also trying to link it back to people who do have additional needs and it's not very easy for me to communicate always so I hope that I've got that bit right. Bearing in mind Evan is also five as well so a lot younger than Edie so just bear that in mind. Um, Ika can be quite sort of, you know, quite <clears throat> apply a little bit of pressure on the camera asking questions like, do you feel like a girl or a boy? Very, very Jonathan Jolie-esque. And like I say, Evan is also autistic as well. It's hard to know. Um, and people have pointed that out as well. It's not something that I'm being like proby with. And once again, like these topics are so, so hard to talk about. For some reason, we allow that to happen um, for, for me. For me, the McLeods are an absolute hybrid of the Duckety Dozen and the Ciccone Jolies. And I say that because she is continuously, if you go and have a look at all of the YouTube, she is continuously, like, she is, she's made videos on her kids having seizures. She's made kid, she's made videos on them in the hospital. She's made videos on them um, coping with their different ailments and things. So actually, she's actually worse, worse than Alicia in that aspect, because she doesn't just talk about the various different medications and care. She actually shows the, these conditions and all of their, you know, um, in all of their glamour in a way, you know, she's showing them when they're having seizures and all of this kind of stuff. She, like, honestly, some of these thumbnails made me angry. So she's, so she basically, you know, and also the kids are also adopted as well. I'm not going to get into foster adoption, but I think they're adopted, but you guys can of course recorrect me because it's quite hard to go from someone that you've never properly known to then knowing everything about different families it is quite hard so if i'm ever wrong just point just tell me point me in the right direction but this is what I, this is what i'm this is what i've read what i'm aware of she does all of these extremely clickbaity thumbnails and stuff do you believe that evan's always preferred to wear you know play with the girl toys and wear the girl dresses and who does that remind you of you yeah. know um, but she's now really, really, really pushing her to actually, you know, to take front centre stage. And her whole content is basically just about this little girl. It's just about Evan. 
Um, you only have to go on the TikTok and it's just recently been Pride Month. So it's been a whole shabakal about Pride and which is called this amazing thing, but she's pushing her five-year-old. I do believe uh, she's five, pushing her five-year-old out there. Um, which is very Sakoni Jolie esque, which is what I'm trying to say. Like, it's basically a hybrid between the Duckily Dozen and the Sakoni Jolies. And for some reason, people don't care about it. And I just don't understand why. Like, honestly, some of these thumbnails are just, it's just too much. Like, how is this? I know there's a lot of people who, who you know, are slightly skeptical and all that about this family. But honestly, it just, um, like the thing is is that i get it like i can completely understand understand if you are dealing with kids who have a multitude of problems um it can be extremely isolating i do appreciate that but the problem is is that these parents and i will say parents because you see it among the dads like fathering autism and stuff like you do see it they just become blindsided to the idea that just everyone around them is is safe for you know, it's safe to consume that kind of content as well. And that they don't really think about what the repercussions could be in the future for their kids. They just don't think of it because in the moment they're like, oh, we just want to share all this because we want to connect with other people. And you do get a lot of people on YouTube and that going like, oh, um, my child has these issues as well. It's so nice to be able to see what you're doing and da, 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 da. And I think that would be absolutely fine if, if Ika or, you know, the other the other parents basically just described it without actually showing their kids, you know, struggling or having seizures and always like basically just, just, just being able to explain things without actually showing things. Obviously what I mean by that is not like, not like explaining it without giving like too much, too, like too much personal information. I mean, like if it needs to be mentioned because you're doing something, then fair enough, mention it, but don't go into so much detail that that it's giving away like too much personal stuff about your kids. I like I do such a bad job at explaining things sometimes, I swear. But I think to do that, it requires quite a lot of effort and it requires quite a lot of a conscience to go, mm, I'm not gonna upload that, I'm not I'm gonna edit that bit out. And I think some people just give up on that fact. Maybe they start off with going, Oh, this is okay to show, I'll just show a little bit. I'll edit it out that bit. And then after a while it's like, well, it doesn't really matter anymore. And the thing is it does matter. So we had this one thumbnail that says Evan had a seizure. We had another thumbnail that says parenting a child with severe disabilities where the mum is looking extremely shocked and there's literally a video of one of her, of her children like lying down having a fit. Like why is that going anywhere near the internet? Like why do we need this? It's so disturbing and like I say absolutely no one has an issue with this but for some reason the Sakoni Jolies get like I mean I don't agree with what they're doing but what these guys are doing is equally as bad if not worse in terms of like you know showing off your children and because you know she she not only exploits um exploits her child's want to be transgender but also exploits their seizures and their hospital visits and their medical issues. I'm telling you, it's a hybrid between the both. Anti-bullying, basically she did a video about our child is being bullied at school and stuff. And it's like, that's so embarrassing. Why are you putting that online? This mum overshares a lot. She overshares a lot. And I even hear that she basically goes on and she just erases any negative comments and she just gets rid of them because she doesn't, she doesn't need it. But the problem is if you do that, you live in an echo chamber and you're never going to know if what you're doing is actually okay. And what she's doing isn't okay. One of the pulls her off on it. I mean, like literally I went onto her Instagram today and the very last couple of things that she did was Evan, who was at um, parkour, I think. And the mum's basically going off about how much how much she you know loses concentration and like goes into that side of things um and it's basically like she doesn't once again you have parents that don't have enough of a personality on their own or like much to talk about so they basically just like use their kids and use what their kids are doing for content time and time again i do do that with my pets because i love my pets and i feel like they wouldn't mind being showcased on my instagram so much but she does it with like her own children and I've been following her Instagram for the past few days and that's all she really does. It's all just like, Evan's wearing this today and da 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 da. She also gets a lot of ads as well, like a lot of ads. Um, she recently just did an ad with Prime, which should be quite a decent paycheck if you're partnering up with Amazon. Um, and she does a variety of different ads as well. And I think 
that can be a little bit fishy as well like when basically your main source of content is your children like like just your children sometimes no adult in sight and then five five uh five slides later it's then you promoting something and it makes you think like are you in it to spread awareness or are you just in it to make your bank account bigger do you know what i mean it's extremely suspicious and i do definitely think that i want to keep my eye on this family because yeah i i don't know i feel like i feel like i'm in some sort of a strange vortex where like i feel like i'm like the only person who's thinking this but seriously like if people like throw tomatoes at the Sacconi Jolies why are people not putting this family or like you know the mum why are they not putting her on the same pedestal pedestal pet pedestal pedestal do you know what I mean like why is no one doing that I don't really understand it like I feel like if you're going to treat one one family the same you need to look at the other ones as well and there are plenty of other ones doing the exact same thing but no one really comments on them and these guys have a, have like twice as big of a platform on tiktok so anyway so thank you so much for watching have a wonderful day wherever you are in this world take care of each other take care of yourselves and i'll catch up with you guys in the next video